Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to apply partial fractions to integrate the function x plus 3 divided by x plus 2 times x plus 5 with respect to x. First of all we have to resolve this right. Let me copy that. So to resolve this into partial fractions we have to consider the nature of our denominator which are just two factors and all of these factors are linear factors. So we are going to have two fractions because we have two factors. To the top we have a constant, to the bottom we have first factor which is x plus 2 plus another constant b divided by x plus 5. Why do we have constants to the top? Always you have to have a polynomial of degree 1 less than the denominator. This is linear. 1 degree less will be a constant. This is also a linear. 1 degree less will be a constant. All right. And we can apply cover of method to simplify this. To get a, we have to think of a number x that will make this equal to 0. And the only value of x that could make this equal to 0 is negative 2. Because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So how do we find a? We substitute that negative 2 here. Negative 2 plus 3 will give us positive 1. So we have 1. Divide by. We plug in that negative 2 into the other factor. So negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3. So we have 3 here. Don't forget to divide by x plus 2. Plus, we move to the other one. We want to find a value of x that will make this equal to 0. And that value must be negative 5 because negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So to find b, we're going to plug in that negative 5 here. Negative 5 plus 3 will give us what? Negative 2. So we have negative 2 divided by, you plug in that negative 5 here, not here. So we have negative 5 plus 2, which is negative 3. So we have negative 3 here. Don't forget, divide by x plus 5. Once you simplify this, you're going to obtain um, 1 over 3 divided by x plus 2. Then plus uh, negative negative will cancel, right? So we have 2 over 3 divided by x plus 5. So now instead of this function, we are going to replace it with these two fractions. So now our integration becomes the integral of 1 over 3 divided by x plus 2 dx plus the other one, the integral of 2 over 3 divided by x plus 5 dx. Uh, we can bring this constants outside. The first one we have 1 over 3, the integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 dx plus, you bring this out, 2 over 3, multiply by the integral of 1 divided by x plus 5 dx. Now we are free to integrate these two functions separately. So just observe, the moment you differentiate this, x plus 2, you are going to obtain 1. So whenever the derivative of the bottom is exactly as the top, just take natural log of the absolute value of the denominator. So this is equal to 1 over 3, natural log of the absolute value of x plus 2. Move to the other one, plus 2 over 3. The same thing, if you differentiate this, you're going to obtain 1. So we have natural log of the absolute value of x plus 5 then plus the constant of integration and we are done and this is just the solution to this problem thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye